What is up guys, welcome back to Elsa. So in my last video I explained why um, PayPal keeps on rejecting our, our accounts and they keep on disabling us from linking our Visa card, which I mean is the standard chartered Visa card. Now it is true and definitely true that I have linked my standard chartered Visa card to PayPal. Now when you create the account and you try linking your standard chartered Visa card and it doesn't work for you, it is from an update from PayPal or you didn't create the account so well, right? Day in day out, PayPal keeps on updating your services and then you all, we also need to come up with new ways of creating the account. Now when you create this account and it doesn't work out for you, you try to reach out to me and then I'll create it for you or I'll try and help you to create the account and link your standard charter visa card for free. Recently, someone called me a froster because I tried to help the person. Yeah, and for a few days I've been rejecting people and then I've been telling them that I can't link their card or create a paypal account for them but now i'm now open i've realized that it's part of what i do and anything that you do on this earth comes a challenge so back to the video now i've actually found a way in creating the account without getting the verification tab and then you putting in your voters id passport or whatever that you have i found a, a perfect way which you can do it on your phone and i'm going to show you how to do this it's very simple and then you need to follow the steps exactly as i'm doing right all right guys so i'm on safari on my iphone you can also use your android phone to do this make sure that paypal is not tracking you and you don't type and you don't accept the cookies that paypal offer to you right it's on the website so we type in paypal.com forward slash ae and this is to switch it to the uae right so we're in the UAE and then you can see the flag at the bottom of the page. Now let's go to sign up for free. And then we want to select a business account. Now from here we click on continue and it takes us to the next page. Right. So what we do is that we want to paste our email right here. Now this is a new email that I've created for this tutorial. Now I have to type in my password. And then from there I click on continue. Now, once you click on continue it takes you to a page where you need to enter your business contact and then we we'll have to type in our legal first name from there we also have to type in our legal last name and then make sure that when you do create the account with your name let's say your name is l jones don't keep on using l jones for every account you create you can just switch it up sometimes so you can make it jones l as the first which is jones as the first name and then l as the last name so here i'm going to change it to L. Jones as the legal first name and then I'll switch it to Ghana it's just as the same tutorials that we go through on the PC just that this one is on the phone and then PayPal cannot track your locations on the phone right so I have to type in my business address which is Nana Obri Yabua um, 2nd Street right Right. So from there, you can add additional information, which I usually don't do. And then I head on to the city. Um, for the city, I type in Koforidua because I'm in Koforidua. And then you select the Emirate to be Dubai. So I'm typing in Koforidua for the city. Now we have to agree to the terms and conditions and check through the account if there is any problem. Or check through the forms if there is any problem if there is no problem we click on agree and continue and then we move on to the next step now it tells us to describe our business and we want to select individual or sole proprietorship now we want to select bookstores as a product keyword or business keyword and then we want to type in our date of birth now this is the last stage of creating the account so let's let's look out for the for the wonderful thing that will happen in this video because when you do create the account as in the last video or in the video i uploaded yesterday you can see that it gives you that red flag thing to verify your account now here in the national id section you need to type in any random number do not type in your exact national id right so from here we go to home address as same as business address from there we click on continue and then it loads and then let's wait for the miracle to happen right now 
voila an account is being created so we need to go down and check if there's that stupid red thing there again and then you can see that once we go down there is no red thing again which means we can link our card okay so let's head on and try to link our card and see some miracle right here um, so i will head on to my gallery and then show you my account sorry and then show you my visa debit card now this is a proof that i'm actually linking the visa debit card so i'm going to log into the account again you can see this is the gmo that i use from the start and i'm logging into the account again and i'll try to link a visa debit card to this new account that i've created on my phone i'm doing everything from a phone not on a pc i'm using iphone xc and then i'm doing it from my phone right so here is the new account and you can see that we still don't have that stupid flag thing there right right so um we want to link our card and you can see that my name here is l jones and this is this is my account it's very intact and it's just simple so when you do create these accounts on your laptops on other devices that and you don't get access to link your card or your cards are being declined just switch between devices right so um here is the next step that we want to link a card so we want to go to the link card session and then our address then that will be about second street to go for it you are dubai it's already there so what we then do is that we want to go back to our gallery and then we want to take a look at my card my visa debit card from paper so here is it i've covered up some details because of privacy sake and then people can hack these accounts right so the last number of the card is ending with three four one zero so i'm going to type in the card and you can see that is the exact card i'm typing in just that for privacy sake i've covered some details now we want to type in the expiring date and then from there we want to type in the cvv code now it is located at the back of the card if you don't understand anything watch my previous video on how to link a card from there we click on link card and then voila our card is being linked and then you can see is it you link your visa card your visa debit and the card is ending with three four one zero and then you can see here that the last four digits is also three four one zero now that is my card now it shows the expiring date and then everything now all what we need to do now is that our card is being linked already that but we need to confirm the card and you need to have an amount on the card so that you confirm the card and then once you click on confirm the card paypal is going to send you some code and then you type in and then they will deduct um maximum of um let's say one dollar and then you can verify your card which is being linked to paypal successfully so i so I urge that you go through some of these tutorials. If it doesn't work for you, just switch between devices. You can take a friend's phone and use it because people cannot track you on the friend's phone, right? So that's how I do it. And this is on my phone. I did everything from my iPhone. So you can do this. So to confirm a code, you have to click on get code and then they will send you it through your email in which you used to create the, the bank account that, that is offering you the Visa card, right? So this is my phone and then let's head on to my channel if you haven't subscribed to the channel you do your best to subscribe to El Sasso because we bring in educational videos on how to be financially free here in ghana i see you guys in the next one with everything said i'm sure you can link your card now and if you find any difficulties get me on instagram at else hustle and then peace